type 1 diabetes. An autoimmune disease genetically inherited which causes the immune system to attack the insulin producing cells in the pancreas, leading to a destroying of insulin levels which regulate blood glucose, sending blood sugar soaring. What's scarier, we still don't know the cause of exactly why this disease exists in the first place. Type 1 diabetes is an ongoing fight. However, let's take a look at the daily life of Miss Amoeba Darwin, who just got diagnosed with type 1 diabetes after feeling extra thirsty, hungry, and tired. What's more is that she doesn't seem interested in making the right choices for her lifestyle, despite the diagnosis. Keep watching to see what effects will this have on her. And as you watch, can you find out what she's doing wrong to manage her diabetes? Amoeba was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes at the young age of 17 when the doctors found that her lifestyle choices had led her blood sugar to spike unhealthy amounts. Upon inspection, it was found that her pancreas wasn't producing enough insulin to sustain her blood glucose levels. Though she had the chance to change her ways, she went home that day and continued her unhealthy rituals. That doctor's appointment was tiring. She felt hungry. Of course, the first thing she wanted to do was sit down and have her favorite sugary cereal, Rice Krispies. She always had a sweet tooth. She went and ate this by the TV. Amoeba always envied the people online who seemed to be active every second of the day. She thought for a second of getting some exercise, but ultimately felt differently in the end. It is a lot of work to maintain, I suppose. Even though the doctor said the lack of exercise may have been what brought her to this point of her life, though other factors such as geography, age, and environment could have been a cause too. Her alarm went off. It was time to take her insulin to raise her blood levels. She had many options to pick from to get insulin. Needle and syringe, artificial pancreas, insulin pen, or insulin pump. She thought the needle and syringe would be the better option for her. After eating so many sugary foods, her blood sugar levels were super high, but uh-oh, she didn't remember how much to take. Oh well, she's sure that she could just guess. It doesn't matter that much, does it? I doubt it. She draws up the insulin with the syringe from a vial and injects it into the skin on her stomach. The symptoms of this consequence were already kicking in. Amoeba became pale, cool, clammy, and fell unconscious. What was wrong? She was hypoglycemic. Luckily, the doctors were able to get her back by administering glucagon, which raised her blood sugar via triggering the liver to release sugar. All of Amoeba's lifestyle choices led her here from eating unhealthily, not getting exercise, and taking too much insulin. Not regulating it, ended up with her blood sugar levels as 2.8 millimoles, when a regular level for her blood sugar is 4 to 7 millimoles. Now, how could Amoeba do her life differently? Let's see. Amoeba just got diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. She knew then she wanted to make a difference in her lifestyle by starting then. She listened very carefully to the advice from the doctor, soaking in how much insulin to take to regulate the blood sugar levels without overdoing it. She knew there was no cure for diabetics, but she could at least manage it. She went home and instantly reached for the lean proteins, non-starchy vegetables like mushrooms, whole grains, and overall less sugary foods. After a nutritious lunch, rather than sitting down by the TV as she always used to, she decided a run wouldn't hurt her. It was better to get exercise than none at all. 60% of people reduced their risk of developing diabetes when these changes were made. When she got back, she found that her levels were a little high, not too much to worry about. She administered just enough insulin via needle and syringe to bring them back to normal amount of 5.5 millimoles. As we can see, these simple changes to Amoeba's life made a big difference in managing her diabetes. As mentioned before, there is no cure. However, scientists such as David Bell and others in labs, such as the Frederick National Laboratory, are working towards finding a vaccine and early progress cures. Since Amoeba paid attention and cared about her health, she's now living a happy life even as a diabetic. <laughs>